Hello guys, whenever you launch any Xbox Game Pass game from Microsoft Store or Xbox app or if you are unable to log into Xbox app or Microsoft Store because of this error that is we couldn't sign you in to Xbox Live error code is 0x89235107 so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video. The next step is to start Xbox services. For this, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and over here find Xbox services. So make sure Xbox Live Authentication Manager. So all the Xbox services is checked over here. So if any one of the services is unchecked, check it, then click on apply, OK, restart a computer and then open Xbox app. Also, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find all the Xbox services in the list. So at the end, here you can see all the Xbox services. Make sure all the Xbox services are running. So make a double click and make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now run. Open all the Xbox services, set it to automatic, apply, click on start, then cl click on OK. Again, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Again, automatic, then click on start, and then click on apply, OK. Now find Windows update, M make sure Windows update service is running, make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find IP helper in the list, M make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services, make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click, then click on restart or start. Now if it is already running like this, so in my case it's already running, if it's already running, make a right click, then click on stop. Again, make a right click, then click on stop and then restart the gaming services. Make a right click, then click on start. Again, make a right click, then click on start. Now find Microsoft Store install service and then make a double click on Microsoft Store install service and then set it to automatic. Apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now restart a computer and then try to log into your Xbox app. Now the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app, then click on app settings. Now scroll down here, you can see the repair option, click on repair. And after the repair, open Xbox app and then login. If that does not resolve the error, then click on reset, reset. And after the reset, open Xbox app and then login. Do the same thing with Microsoft Store. So type in store in Windows search box, make a right click, then click on app settings. Again, scroll down and click on repair. After the repair, open Xbox app and login. If that does not resolve the error, then click on reset, reset. After the reset, open Xbox app and then login. Now the next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset and this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. Now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store and then now login. Now the next step is to close Xbox app. So if Xbox app is open, make sure that you close Xbox app and once Xbox app is closed, now open Microsoft Store in the background and then on the top right here, you can see a profile icon, click on it, then click on sign out, then click on sign in. Select the same account which you are using on Xbox apps. So make sure that you select the correct account, then click on continue. Now it will be asking for your pin or password. So enter the pin or password over here. Now once logged in, now open Xbox app and then log in. Now the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. 
also make sure set time zone automatically is on so turn it on and then click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now now also make sure right country is selected over here so make sure right country is selected over here now open xbox app and then login now the next step is to make sure gaming service and xbox identity provider is installed on your computer now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see the option which says get installed click on it then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store now if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see the install button over here so if you see the install button click on install in my case this is already installed so there is no install button so if you see install click on install now after this uninstall and reinstall gaming services to uninstall gaming services copy this command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services once this is done now copy the second command on the same window paste the second command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and you will see the install option to install gaming services so cl click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once the download is complete now open xbox app and then login so make sure download is complete first and then open xbox app and then login now the next step is to delete xbox login credential for this type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager now go to windows credentials scroll down now at the end you will find xbl device key or you might find xbl grts device key or you might find both so if you find xbl device key or xbl grts device key or maybe both you have to click on it in my case i have only xbl grts device key so if you have both click on both and then remove if you have only one of them click on it and then click on remove click on yes now restart your computer now after this restart is a must so make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart log into your xbox app now the next step is to uninstall xbox app so type in xbox app and then make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall click on uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart reinstall xbox app so open microsoft store type in xbox app and then click on xbox app and then install the xbox app once again from microsoft store now now the next step is to uninstall xbox app once again still you are receiving the error code in that case type in xbox app and then make a right click and then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall again restart your computer then download and install xbox app from microsoft website so go to xbox website go to this website the link is provided in the video description scroll down click on download the app and then run the exe file install the xbox app after the installation login to xbox app now the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time now during this process you will receive some errors in red color so if you see errors like this in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window now open xbox app and then login now the next and the last step is to update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete 
before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file. Then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop. And then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish. And then go to desktop. Find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11, click on next. It will check for update, then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.